Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the cute cesspool. You know sometimes in this game where you do something and then you forget about it for, I don't know, like 120 cycles? So I built this great hall. There's only 10 chairs in there. And for a while I've been seeing a couple of my dupes eating food in random places. I just forgot that I had 12 dupes and only 10 chairs. So yeah, new great hall. I'll put a couple of plants in there. We got some of this. It's good. Uh, yeah, berry sludge is now coming up. These are just now starting uh, to be harvested. In fact, I'm, I keep switching them from auto harvest to enable. But I think once I harvest these, then I'll have enough. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to go over. Uh, because this is called the cute cesspool, I'm going to do something with this cesspool. Hey, my water's recondensing. Nice. So I dug all this down and it evaporated all of my water again. I had a break up here, so I decided just to put in some tiles and I was gonna make them insulated. But I was like, no, let me just make them solid so I can condense all the steam. Once the steam is condensed, you can see various abyss light has dropped from water droplets. That'll help it stop evaporating and away we go. So how soon does it take for these just to fall off? Anyway, so yeah, I'm trying to get the, all this steam to uh, to condense. This whole area is just warm. That, that's what can happen. But once it condenses and I can swap this over to insulated tiles, then yeah, this will be much better. And then I can do something with the sour gas. So what's the plan? For those of you who don't know, one of the best ways to make a vacuum when you have a nasty environment is just build a, build a brick. So I just built this up from the bottom to the top. It forced all the material out, all the gas out. And so now we have a perfect vacuum to start working with. So I have to, unfortunately now deconstructs all of this and then I can get to work on a petroleum boiler. So if we do that, then I can start to build the ladder up and then I'll deconstruct down and we will go from there. That's a vacuum. Some of this is super hot at this light, which I'm basically get, gonna leave in here. Yeah, and that's all working great. So first, after the next little bit of berry sludge is done, uh, then we'll look at the rocket. Are they gonna harvest this? Let's just do that. Like, I don't need much more. I just need to get my dupes up in space with some food. No, I want priorities. Yeah, we'll let those go, and then that should get the food up quite a bit. Yeah, Bear Sludge is already up to 52,000. And did I put... I did! Nice. And this is a liquid lock of something I've never done before, of mercury. <laughs> I don't know if that's better than anything else, but that's what was right next to this, so it's easy just to build and force it over. So yeah, let me clean this out and we'll have a look. Man, I love having fast builders. And this is all in nice and in a vacuum, so I can kind of build into here other than that, which I'm just gonna brick into. So if I'm gonna do that, let's come over two more. Yeah, we'll stay away from that hot obsidian. Oh yeah, berry sludge is coming up good. Okay, so these guys can keep doing this. There's so many things I want to do. Oh, 
I just want it might be better to dump all the abyssalite straight down. So I don't even ever have to worry about it. Problems this sedimentary rock will probably just melt. But I've got some obsidian. So yeah, if I make an obsidian ladder. Anyway, this area's opened up. I can now get to work on petroleum boiler, all that kind of good stuff. And berry sludge is up over 100,000. So we can start doing that. Now, is that going to melt immediately? No, because it's surrounded by abyssalite. Okay, I was worried about this melting because it's sedimentary because it's what I have. All right, let's prioritize that bit first. I just want to get that gas killed. Somebody, there's a lot of molten glass around here. Perfect. All right, we'll come back to this in just a second. Now let's look at the rocket. So this is kind of what I came up with. I actually want to swap that out to a fridge. So, for those of you who don't know, you can't build pipes over the door. Liquid pipes, air pipes, where the door is, you can't build them. I was flipping through something online and I saw someone had a wall toilet here. I honestly didn't think you could put the wall toilet there. I just didn't. It's red pills. And so because of that, by having the wall toilet here, it opens up a whole new avenue for building. So I've got my telescope on this side, and then you get this kind of offset design where they can hop up and around. And because of that, I get a washroom, a mess hall, and a barracks. I just don't get suit docks. But this should be good enough for my two dupes to go up and make data banks. We've got 10 tons of plastic. We're about to get food. We've got 50 rad pills. By having the telescope on this side, they're a little bit more shaded from radiation. Oh, I need automation. I think I only need to open these two doors. Alright, we'll get that built, then I can launch the rocket, start exploring, and seeing how long it takes to make Data banks. Now if I put in a automatic dispenser, I can just tell everyone to dump all the abyss light right here and then never have to worry about it. If you're curious how we're fueling the rocket, I've actually got two full tanks of petroleum and this pipe is almost full. I sucked up this pool of petroleum over here. Once this area got cool enough and I could pump it, ooh, the steam's almost gone. That worked out quite well. So yeah, two full tanks at 450 kilograms per launch. That's 20 launches, if I'm doing my math right. All right, so what if I do sweep only abyss light? and tell them to sweep all of this, and then I can... Hmm, that's probably big enough already. I might expand off to the side. Might as well. How's 
this coming. Oh, almost done. Okay, I apparently have to save and reload. I was holding the dig button when an autosave happened and apparently it uh, dug up the side of my steam room. I was like, why is this overheating? Like, yeah, it. I thought I cleared it all, but apparently, ugh, what a mess. Anyway, let me reload. I hate it that like if you're holding a command in the middle of a save and you end up with like a ladder everywhere or a dig command everywhere. And now it looks like my dupes have uh, released steam, which you can't see from there, but this will show it to you. And a quick reload later. What had happened was I was trying to dig this regolith and happened to click that right as the save happened. And basically this entire side of the map was covered in dig commands. And I apparently missed this bit, which I really should turn into insulated tiles. Anyway, did I get this done? Yes. Sweep only. Miscellaneous. I have a slight. I think there is a mod for selective Oh, sweeping. I haven't tried it though. I might just dig this whole thing down and I'll have plenty of room. And there's another big pool of petroleum right there. And more sour gas and steam. Okay, I'll bite. What do we think this is? Is that because of the meteor shower? That all that's flashing? Weird. Uh, yeah, I have not seen that before. All right, I'll wait for the meteor shower to be over and then, yeah, we'll launch the rocket. Well, it stopped flashing, but the meteor symbol's still here. The meteors are still coming down. Now the meteor shower is over. Nope, still happening. Okay, seriously, when is this meteor shower gonna be over? Oh, while I'm waiting on meteors, all the steam has condensed. So, quick layer of insulated tiles. And there's still little pockets of steam, but that I'm not worried about. I just want to start to insulate this area, so maybe this water will cool down at some point. Okay. It's flashing, but we don't have the symbol. We're taking the opportunity. And change crew. We want Gusman and Mira. We have a range of 10. Which planet? We've seen that one. So, yeah. So let's go this way. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. That looks like a plan. Okay. Rocket doors are opening. We have to wait for the launch path to be clear. Yep. And these are all set to controlled. One dupe. And so now Gossman and Lyra need to be able to eat berry sludge. All the little things. There we go. Oh, 
quality achievement. We did something. Ah, monster rocket. All right, with them out of there, we can close this again. Perfect. Now we're working the telescope, we're making data banks. And meteor shower. Of course. I do not miss that part of the base game. Now to queue up this part of it. Well, that was fast. We have a whole nother planetoid. And this one looks to have a little bit of everything, kind of like the original planet. Okay. Good job, telescope dupes. I just noticed there's another volcano right there. Or, I'm assuming that's a volcano. It's something. And there... Wow. So... Yeah, there's four volcanoes right there. Let's just ask what you are. Minor volcano. Oh, and I apparently can't see that enough to do it. So yeah, I'm going to do uh, infinite petroleum storage up here because this is all in nice in, in a vacuum. And that's our abyssalite cleaned up for now. And then I'll probably just dunk a... Probably some tungsten tiles into this magma and call it good. How did you entomb yourself in an airflow tile? I think they caught that iron ore. <laughs> they caught it out of midair. Good job, dupes. I don't know why there's obsidian in there, but who cares? We are gonna want some controls. Oh, I need to do, I can do that with piping. I was just thinking I need, I need to get some crude oil in here, but I can do that with a pipe. I don't need to do that with a pitcher pump. Not bottle and beer, that's what I meant. And we have made it in orbit to this planet. We got a crash satellite. Looks like it's the Pip and Tree Farm planet. Oh, it even has uh, ocean and tundra. And radioactive. It's got all sorts of fun stuff. As well as some metal volcanoes. Power and water. Now, I might have to go into debug mode because that doesn't really tell you densities. So, in reality, you would think mercury would be the densest, but for some reason, oil is denser than water. So, that doesn't quite work. Oh, I got some petroleum over here. How did that get there? I dumped it from something. Or I've got some broken pipes. Yep, broken pipe. So many things to worry about. Okay, there is uh, some candy cane, magma, and glass over here. <laughs> Just some, you know, magma floating on top of glass with glass floating on top of it. Why are you standing in the magma? Why are you still standing in the magma? God, dupes are so dumb. Come here. Go see the doctor. Well, those are coming up in temperature nicely. So yeah, this is just gonna be a tungsten heat spike, which yeah, that's warm enough. I think I might just leave it as one tile for a bit. But I should be good now to queue up the 
Not the boiler part. Let's see if I picked my materials correctly. Yeah, 2900. So this is a Wolframite door, not a steel door. And then tungsten tiles are 3200. No, you open. Yeah, that's going to cause me some issues. I'm just trying to seal this in. So yeah, tungsten, wolframite, whatever to not melt. Because steel will actually melt at some of these temperatures. I might need to start hiring some more dupes. I'm, I am only at 12. And if I want to start expanding, I'm going to need them to get trained up. All right, that's all sealed in. I mean, I don't really mind if we slowly cool that air. It's gonna take forever. All right, some nice wool for my tip shift plates. I'm just trying to think of what I can do to use that igneous rock. It'll get used up somewhere. Yeah, so ideally I want to do it kind of like this. I want to dig that down. Yeah. Oh, here, we can do it like this. We need some insulated anyway. And we'll probably use copper. For that bit. Very nice. Oh, this we can build up. And we got some plumbing going into there. We're me we're getting there. This is definitely going to fall into the this should work and hopefully it does scenario of having the petroleum roll off of these insulated tiles into where the pump is. And then my dupes can still run around and repair things as needed. Oh, Gossman's idle. Yep, that makes sense. How's my scanning? Oh, looks like they got one more row before I move them. So yeah, that also means that I want to come into here and we'll start with this oil and then I'll bring in the leaky oil fisher oil. And I almost forgot the power wires. That would have been very, very bad. Oops. I might just make this. I don't know exactly where that temperature is going. I guess it's going into the insulated tiles. But as long as that gets below 550, then I think the first slug of oil won't turn into sour gas immediately. At least I'm hoping not. Well, we're gonna find out. So much steel is being consumed. All right, so I gotta run a big ass power wire to get down to here and then it'll be almost time to turn this on. Okay, my rocket dupes are awesome. They've already found another planet. I don't think I can quite get there though. Range three, one, two, three. No, I gotta go straight this way. But yeah, we now have the ice planet, which looks perfectly normal. And how many data banks do we have? 88. And we need 200, 500, 900. 
1100, 1200, yeah, about, nope, nope, 1500. <laughs> we need a lot. But this is below 550, so I'm good to get oil in there. We got power wire coming in. Awesome. That should be enough to get this started. We connect you. I forgot a pipe segment, so I lied. We need that bit of pipe. This is way down in perfectly reasonable temperature. Now we got some pipe. We got five kilo packets coming through. The first few packets we send up to here. Somewhere around that many. That 65 seems good. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What was hot enough? Everything down here. Was below 450, like below 500. It shouldn't have flashed. Okay. What's the pressure? Oh, God. I was like, oh, I'll just pump it into this room, but I can't even do that. I've got to do... No, not iron. Steel. I mean, luckily it is milligrams, so I can get it pumped out easy enough. So yeah, that shouldn't transmit a whole lot of heat. We can get that pumped so I can get this started. So we want you at 401. Turn you back on. I think I want some oil first. to put in a second row of tungsten. This might not be transmitting heat fast enough. I was worried about it melting, but I don't think that's a worry. So yeah, thermal conductivity of 15. I believe a steel door is much, much better. So let's deconstruct you. Put in a second row of tungsten and turn off the oil. All right, the pump is pumping, the door is done. Yeah, I think I really do need the double tiles of tungsten to transmit enough, eat up fast enough. Come on, dupes. One more, really.
Turn you back on. Yeah, now that heat's coming up quick. And we have petroleum. I mean, it's definitely doing some horrible spikes. Let's set this down to 401. Okay, the petroleum's not bouncing super horribly. Okay, we are making petroleum and I'm way over time. My dupes are back in orbit of this planet and they've used up one third of their oxygen. So basically, they're gonna set up here until they run out of food or run out of air. And now we are making petroleum. So one part of the cute cesspool has been used. Now I just gotta get the horrible air out of here. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Digging around hot stuff is always so much fun. Anyway, we will see you next time.